And while you're working on that, I'm struggling here to get this in. You could yeah. help me, but no. Well, you were the one who had your fancy cooking show, had it all set up, had it all ready to go. It was going to be a piece of cake. And there you go. You're good. All right. Now, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to just keep tweaking this around, and then we're going to drop it down. We're going to put a pipe wrench hey, on it. Here's, here, it here's a question that somebody might have. Does it matter the way I put my solenoid on? Like, is this the top, or is this the top? You know, the people who built this solenoid knew that you would ask that question. So on the back of the solenoid, right here, there is a little word that says in, and here, a little word that says out. Perfect. Isn't that clever? So that means that the air is going to go into here and then out this way. So out is where the moon pies go out. There you in go. goes to the tank, out goes to the audience. Perfect. So I'm right. going to take this and go in right here and leave out open when I'm building this part. So if you're just thinking about that in your head, you get one of these solenoids, you want the out part to be open to the world. Perfect. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the pipe wrench and we will, uh, can they see this? Well, I'll hold it. Hold it up just a little bit. We're going to take the pipe wrench right there and we're going to draw it. closer again. Can we do that? Yeah. Right, let me I'm move this thing out right here. There you go. We're going to take the pipe wrench and just put it on this fitting right here. And literally, try not to hit you in the teeth as I do this, we'll spin it around this way. The cool thing about pipe wrenches is they back off on the grip. Then they come back around like this. You just do this. You're seeing us build this, so how long have we been in here now? About 12 minutes or so? Maybe. And we're about ready to shoot some moon pies in the audience. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, now we're going to need to electrically wire this. Yeah, one quick thing here with, a, with, a, or with these uh, pipe wrenches is when you're trying to tighten some of this stuff down, you just got to put one on here, so you can see, just if you've never used a pipe wrench before, and you put one on. One one way, one the other. One the other way. And somewhere along the line, you need to teach your children this, and somebody needs to teach you righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Right. See, okay. I've made mine backwards, and I went lefty, loosey. All right. But you know how. That, that's the point, is that you sit them on there right like this, one there, and right like that, one there. And when you twist them around. All right. Hey, let's wire this one up and make things happen today. What do you say? I say that's a great idea. All right, here we go. In the time it takes to bake a chocolate chip cookie, you can have an air cannon. And shoot moon pies instead. That's and right. the moon pie people like this, by the way. And yes, I, they do. I did send this to moon pie today. We've had a great conversation with them. We shot over 5,000 moon pies last year out into uh, the audience and gave them away with our logo on them. Here you go. Oh, you have the plug already. I'm going to go All right, so here's the easy thing about this. This is an Edison plug, right? Named after Thomas Alva. And, and really. Is that his middle name, Alva? Alva. <laughs> Yeah. No wonder he wanted to. Like, well, that's why he's. <laughs> that's terrible to say. I'm just kidding. Really, he just sat in his lab and thought about these things specifically. So, so here's the idea, right? You get this plug. You can pick this up at a hardware store. You know, pretty easy. And and this is as simple as it is. You think, oh my goodness, how am I going to wire a plug? You take, 18 gauge, lamp cord. cord okay, <laughs> so you can get that at a hardware store. It's like what goes on your lamp. <laughs> Meh. Uh, and you put it through no, that and you first. You put it through this, this right first. Yeah, there you go. Otherwise, you can. <laughs> Otherwise, you can be electrocuted. Otherwise, you can be electrocuted. Okay, it comes right through here, and then sticks right into the base here, and this thing is created so amazingly that all you do is you shove that in there like that, and there are prongs in here that will pierce the plastic coating around the outside, so that when you pinch it down, it makes contact just like that with the prongs, you slide it down into the housing, and in just a moment you have a fully functioning lamp plug. Perfect. All right. As soon as I smash this down in there. And don't plug that into anything yet because I'm going to show you how to wire the other end. There you go. Okay. That's it. Wiring a plug. Perfect. Cake wire. All right. Let's lay that on the floor and make sure that doesn't go into the wall. I, I, that's we don't a great want idea. It. I'll put it right down here. All right. So hold this up. Perfect. And then we've got this solenoid with two wires coming off. And actually, this one has three wires coming off. Two wires are hot, one wire is a ground. Now explain some colors, because here's the thing. Oftentimes, people get confused with colors. You see all these things. So th this has two reds and then a ground here. If and it's so black or red, it's going to be a hot wire. If it's white, it can be a neutral wire. If it's green, it's a ground wire, okay? Take 
an electrician's word for that, not mine. Be very careful. But we're not even going to hook this green wire up because this is all working on freestanding. Right. And we didn't put a ground plug on the other end of the lap cord, so we're just going to roll this up and get rid of it. Don't want to cut it off because we may use this solenoid in a ground situation later on, and we'll need that for code. And so here, here's the issue, right, is that this type of electrical current it will circulate all the way through, so it doesn't matter which one you plug into which. In this case, There's it no, doesn't. It's yeah. alternating. I mean, some cases it does, but in, in this case with an air cannon, so you don't have to worry about the way that you plug your solenoid into your plug. So you got two wires coming off the solenoid, you got two wires coming off your lamp, you're just going to take those, you're going to twist them together with your fingers like this, and then you're going to take a wire nut, which is in your uncle's garage next to the wrench you just took earlier, and you're going <laughs> to... You know, your uncle's got all this in his garage. Uh, I know, well, that's the beautiful thing. thing. In fact, he's probably built one of these. And, uh, and then you're going to twist these together just a little bit. That sort of makes a, a, a temporary threading device, and then you do that. Now, there's a way to back these up, and here's what I mean by that. This that. is going to get some abuse because you're going to move it around your stage, and you're going to have some of your high school kids set that up for you. And, you, and we got a guy that comes in, and we go, Jack, load the air can. That's right. And he does and he a great is a job. Genius. And so he is a genius, by the way. And so what you want to do then is just put a little bit of electrical tape around the bottom of those, seal that just a little bit, and then literally come up onto the wire nut like that. Doesn't have to look pretty, but that'll keep that from coming unscrewed. We're going to do that to both of those, and eventually we're going to take this, just sort of bite it all up into a wad here, tape it up, get it out of the way, keep it safe. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're not doing it right now because we're gonna fire this thing here That's shortly. Right. Let's just put a little tape on, around this one here. Just to be just, safe, well, safety you know, third here at the big deal. It's just an important All piece right. to remember. All right, so we're just gonna put it there like this. If you're wiring your switches at home, I always just back it up with a little bit of electrical tape. Here's why you don't just use tape and not a wire nut because after a while those sharp ends of tape will pierce through the, so sharp ends of wire will pierce through the tape and they get ground out against the tank. And, uh, and you'll that's have not, an excitement That's explosion. not a pretty picture. No. <laughs> so here's the deal. That's all the tough stuff. I mean, really, you look at that and you go, wow, that, I mean, that's easy to do. That is, there's nothing overly technical, overly difficult, all stuff that you can find at a hardware store or online within easy reach of your fingers. All said and done, this thing will run you almost $200. Yeah, you're looking say. at I mean, a tank with, with that we probably paid $25 for on sale. You look at some plumbing stuff that we probably got $12 or $15 into. This is the expensive part right here, the brain, and we're going to pay about 128 bucks for this combined unit right here. Then we're going to put a shot tank on the end of it. Right, we said PVC. Now this is just the load. Now it depends on what you want to load into your air cannon is depending on how big of a piece of PVC that you're going to use. Like sometimes when we shoot paint, we actually use a smaller pipe. Did you say shoot paint? Yes, when we, we paint the wall. That. Well, that's, I mean, you know, you just gotta be a little careful. Make sure you clean out. If you fire paint, make sure you clean out your, your, your barrel really quickly because you don't want that paint to start dripping down into your solenoid because, again, that's the expensive part and you wanna keep that safe. But so you're gonna take a piece of PVC here and, and you're gonna take uh, a couple of different pieces. You got a, a reducer here. So this is a three inch piece of PVC which fits a mini moon pipe perfectly. And, and you place it on here and then you have another reducer that goes to a half inch. It'll fit our pipe and that goes in here. But that's you, threaded. And this is threaded. Make sure you get a threaded piece. Yeah, that's good. So you can see inside there, maybe, there's threads. Um, you don't wanna get the blank kind because then it won't thread onto your pipe over here. Now, the, I, the one important thing is you can't just stick it all together and hope that it works. You need to take a little bit of PVC cement, which will remind you if you ever made models, if you open it up, you'll smell it and you'll go, oh man, I remember that kind of smell. And so you take the PVC cement and you just, it has like this little dropper in there. And you can take that little dropper and you just rotate it around on the edge here. There we go, just like that. And that's probably good. Drop the Reducer on. on there, voila! Give it a couple hits, and you're done. Look, look at that. Finished. And by the way, if you get that glue on your fingers, it burns.